uh, go back, basically walk through it. And some of it, you know, it, it definitely has a JUnit feel to some of the, the language to it. But again, they're trying to get the cucumber where it'll actually be more like acceptance criteria type tests that you're writing. And so if we go ahead and run this in the emulator, Sort. Yeah. Well, 
<laughs> what about iPhone? I mean, I think that's the biggest problem we've had at Integrum when we went to a lot of the mobile development. Is you know, coming from Rails, you've got just a whole slew of options, right? I mean, you've got cucumbers, stain, celerity, polarity. I mean, all these things you can do. And when we get into the mobile platform, I know first it was iPhone, and I don't even know that we found a decent iPhone test suite yet. No, it's all together via Apple Scripts from last I heard. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, as we've gotten into Android, there was always Gene. I mean, it, was, it came with it, but again, that doesn't know integration. Yeah, so, um, you know, I think this is probably the biggest frustration in mobile development, is trying to get this, and I'm actually really glad to see these guys. Well, this is the reason last time I got it, Yeah, well, and you can do it now. I mean, it is, is hacky as it is in the sense of, you know, stuff that doesn't work on some phones, it doesn't. Run you know, the exactly, run it in the emulator, and, and yeah. you know, instead of doing the send menu key, you know, there's that workaround of, you know, press on this menu item, which wraps all that up and just goes straight to that item. So um, there's definitely no reason you can't do behavior-driven development if you want, you know, uh, in Android at this point. I think as far as the speed goes too, like it runs slow, but if you set up a CI server and you don't commit, like they got some cool stuff set up where it'll actually run it on all the different platforms. If you set up like, uh, I want to test the crowd 1.5 through 2.1 and it'll all those, and then also on the different size screens. And then if it's running in the background, then the speed doesn't affect you as much, and it'll actually take a screenshot of when it fills, so you'll be able to see it in full set. And they do have a screenshot class, so much like show me the page, right? Uh, you, can, you can screenshot at any point yeah. that you want. Um, and store that, you just have to specifically call that. Um, and, and so there's there's that that you can do. But yeah, the CI server right now is probably the fastest. Because when you do local development, you fire off the task that you're doing. And right. Yeah. And on the phones, I will say, on the on the actual devices themselves, the tests are really fast. Like to the point, I have a hard time keeping up with where it's at in the test. So it is, it is the emulator, I, I will say that. Or your computer. <laughs> well, yeah, or the fact that it's an error and not some 12 core development. Cool. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's the other thing. If you really want it to run fast, just plug in a, the phone. Know, a phone right actually, there. That, I never would have thought of that, so that was really important. Yeah. I always would run the app. Yeah, and I can show you when we run it over there on one of our test suites. You know, I'll grab it and come over and see it actually run mm -hmm. on the phone. So. Other comments, questions? Right. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. Thank you.